Masson, do you know what water and electricity do? Oh. Holy crap. Did you guys see that? All right, guys, so one of our AC units has quit working. So the upstairs last couple nights has been pretty hot, but let me show you what just happened. To AC number two and our roof and our wall and our other roof. So Cass is over here because up here our light is raining. The ceiling is leaking all over there. And then it's dripping all the way down through this wall. It's all bubbling. And on the other side of the wall, right over here, we got this thing. And it's just, uh, sounds like it's peeing into the bowl. Anyway, so we got water mess everywhere. I went up in the attic. There's no water up there. So it's like below the attic floor and above the ceiling. second floor ceiling. And obviously the main floor ceiling and the wall between the main floor and the second floor. But luckily we did have someone coming out today that should be here in like half hour, hour or so to look at the first one. But now we gotta get two of them replaced. And until then, they're both just off. So we have no AC and it's like 91 degrees outside right now. So it's gonna get pretty warm. Man, why are you so grumpy? I'm not. Jeez. Why is the house breaking? I don't know. That's what happens when you buy cheap crap houses. I probably could just record an hour of that and people would be like, this is so soothing until it happens to them. All right, so obviously most of our uh, videos start up with like, what's up guys? And today, like we just started when this happened. Uh, most of our vlogs, we don't really have things planned. And so it's like when something happens, that's when we start filming and do something. But uh, yeah, I think uh, what we're gonna do is uh, once the dudes get here for our AC, we're actually gonna take off and go stay at the lake house tonight because we're not gonna sleep with it being 90 degrees, even with the one thermostat turned off upstairs. Uh, so we only had the downstairs being cooled or with doors open and stuff like that. It was still like way too warm. Like the last few nights, it was just kind of like everyone's tossing and turning, not sleeping very good. But now with both of them being off, it's not even have any like residual like cold temperature from downstairs to help with the upstairs. It's gonna be super hot. So we're just not gonna stay here. So we're gonna go to the lake house. But once he shows up, I'll get back and let you guys know what's what. Are we gonna go somewhere? Are we gonna call someone? I'm confused. Someone's already called. We're already gonna go somewhere. Where are we going? We can't go anywhere until you fix your hair though. see anymore. What's your deal? Oh yeah, you colored that? Good job. Hey, what's going on over this way? Go show me. You guys, this is our uh, our wall of Preston. All right, what's going on over here, bud? It's leaking. It's leaking. It's still just coming out, you guys. I poked a little hole in there, so it just drain instead of bubble up. I do that with that. You helped Madison put all the towels down? Yeah. Good job, buddy. Thanks. How much water is in my ceiling, you guys? Uh, what? There, there's one more leaking right there. More leaking? Yeah. <laughs> That's still coming down, huh? Just straight out of the light bulb. Who turned on the light? Madison, do you know what water and electricity do? Oh. Yeah. It's why we don't take baths with toasters. Time to move. I've been trying to get her to move for like ever. There's this big old house up on the hill. What? It's all of a sudden like it was dripping from somewhere else. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think it just shifted. I think, I think we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff happens, you guys. She's like freaking out about it. I'm like, calm down, you can't do nothing about it. That was a fun $50,000 day. All right, no one is here yet to take a look at it. But the bowl's getting full, so we need to replace it. <laughs> Gross. No. Don't drink it. All right, so uh, the AC dudes just came and uh, I was upstairs doing some uh, video work and stuff, so Cassie met with them. Anyways, we went with these guys. She liked them and their price was way better than the people like we, so we had one issue with one of the ACs, but now we got both, so we had someone out like a week ago. Anyways, uh, from Home Depot, they quoted us 
for their cheapest, like the bronze, you know, then they got silver, gold, platinum, all that stuff. For the bronze, it was $24,000. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Huh. Oh my gosh, it's right. Anyways, <laughs> these guys were less than half of Home Depot. So almost $50,000 for Home Depot or less than half of that for this guy. 22 grand for both units because we have two in the house. We'll let you guys know in uh, another video if their work's good uh, and we'll put like a link to who they are in our uh, description. So if you're in Orange County and you need some new AC, these guys are who you should call. Do not call Home Depot unless you want to spend 50 grand. Anyways, we're going to eat some food really quick and then we're going to head to the lake house and then you guys will have to see what happened to the lake house last week and why we haven't been filming there. All right, guys, I just got to the uh, lake house. This little dude did not get a nap today because we had issues and mom had a headache and then we just didn't know it was nap time, so he took a nap. He's so cute when he sleeps. But I told you guys that I would show you the problem that we've had here, so let's go in and show you that. So there was a little bit of leaking coming in here, like the floor was whatever, and all this stuff's coming off the wall because the whole wall was all just wet. All right, so out here, this was also wet. We cut into some ceiling. Look at that, same crap. So this is a separate issue. It's leaking from the balcony around that pipe and it's covering the ceiling and then dripping through the ceiling. But the issue that we showed you last time with the floor being all soaked and flooded is that a pipe burst inside the wall. Right in here, there's the pipe. So they just kind of saran wrapped it for now. And then there was also something here, but they cut into all this and they can't find find anything like pipe wise, no problems with the leak, but something is getting the wall wet. You guys can see here all the way around. We just have water issues everywhere. Yeah, we do. And we need a new house here too. Yeah, tell Cassie you need to quit buying cheap We bought another cheap match. The next one will be better, you guys, I promise. If I can talk her into it. Try it, try it. She's so cheap. I'm not cheap. <laughs> All right, I don't know how dark it is outside or if I'm gonna show you everything, but that's not all the water problems we have. She found a bill in the mail, so she reminded me of more issues, so I'll show you if I can those. It's a sprinkler thing. Look how nice and shiny this one is. That one had to be replaced. Pipe in there had issues. We had to replace that. Look how nice and shiny that is. We had to replace that. I swear, every pipe in this house is getting replaced. This thing right here. Look at that. It's finally not underwater. Every time we get here, we pull up, nothing's just like flooded full of water because the pipe that was up here that I just didn't show you because it was covered uh, is always just like leaking, saturating the ground. But that's not it. We also got problems in the back. All right, nice and snapping, Preston, what you doing? Huh? Yeah, look at that cute boy. You wanna say something to him? What do you wanna tell him? Oh, uh, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Cassie says it sounded like he said I would do that. Oh, so, yeah. All right, take a quick break. Show you guys the lake. I've got to get rid of this old boat. It just sits there. Something is busted under the concrete. Water flows out of there into here, down here, and just washes all the dirt all the way down here, filling up the drains. Then, if we go down here further, oh, it looks like the gardeners decided they just wanted to go ahead and mow down all of our plants uh, this week. That's cool. It looks way better. It was like green, like all over here. We basically just shut our sprinklers off. That whole area was just that. Then it was just pouring water into there all the time and it wouldn't stop and our water bill was like 400 bucks and we were not here. And then we have this giant puddle that we can't get rid of. Look at this. Just always water just sitting here. We can't get rid of this. See if there's a crayfish I can show you guys real quick. I see one. Look at, oh wait, that's a dead one. Oh, out there, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. What's up, Mr. Crawfish, Craydad, Crawdad. Everyone calls him something different. I call him Crayfish, and I'm from Idaho, but I think a lot of people there call him Crawdads. So if you guys made it this far into the video, tell me what you would call them, and tell me what state you're in. Crayfish, Crawfish, or Crawdad. And if someone already commented, you can just like their comment. I wanna see which one gets the most likes. Going inside, and then probably half hour, I'm gonna come out and show you guys some bats. Me and Preston are gonna head outside and see the bats. All right, I'm surprised you got holy crap. Did you guys see that? Holy crap. I just fell against the door. <laughs> Preston, do you see the bats? Yeah. But they almost got me. All right, I think we scared them away. Okay, should we go back in, bud? 
As soon as I went outside, they were coming straight at me. Like, I swear. I felt their wings slapping on my head. It was, the, they were that close. It was crazy. And then I fell against the door because I thought they were gonna run into my face. Eventually. All right, guys, so it's been a week for us. Uh, I don't really remember where we left off, but I know that our AC was not working and it's still not working. Uh, we actually took a trip to Idaho and we didn't film anything there, but I can tell you that our AC there sucks because the downstairs was like 58 degrees the whole time we were there because it's just constantly on if there's any other AC that's on. And then part of the upstairs never turns on, so part of that's just really hot. Anyways, here's uh, what our AC situation is looking like now. Okay, so these are still here. We've got a bunch of stuff, more stuff. We got mom in there. So we've got uh, a couple AC units going in here, some new furnaces. Right now, everything is just cut. So we have no AC here, so uh, we're gonna go in and see if uh, we're staying here tonight because it's really hot in the house right now. We might actually take back off and go back down to the lake house where we're gonna have holes in the walls, but AC will work, so we'll see. So Madison, being in the house here for a couple minutes, what are you thinking? Think you can sleep here tonight or do we need to go to the lake house? I can sleep here. You look like you're like dying of heat already. And you're downstairs, God. upstairs will be hotter. I'm gonna go check out the upstairs real quick. Oh, <laughs> upstairs. That's definitely hotter. Oh my goodness. Uh, Madison's room over here has the attic. Got the fan on the window open, so worker needs must have been hot. And there's the hole. So that stuff that I showed you out there, some of that has to go and get lifted up there. Inside the house, you guys, it is 88 degrees. Trent, what do you think? Can you sleep here tonight? Or do we need to go to the lake house? I have a fan. Yeah? I don't want to go to the lake house. You don't want to go? You want to sleep here? If it gets hotter than this, I do not want to stay here. What's this funky smell in your room, Trin? I don't know. It smells like she has like old fruit by the foots or something. Fruit roll-ups in here. Yeah, I walked and in and there was cooking. just some weird cook. Let me just keep your door closed so the rest of us don't have to smell it. Like. Maybe that old thing is... All right, but back downstairs. It's 83 degrees. All right, we took a vote. It's way too hot in there. We are taking off to the lake house. So I'll see you in just half a second and I'll show you uh, and I'll see you for the first time uh, the holes in our walls and ceilings that uh, got ripped up while we were gone for the last week. All right, so one of the drawbacks of driving a Tesla is when you leave for a week and you have your Tesla parked at the airport, the sentry mode, which is like the security system with all the cameras, once it drops below like 20%, it tells you, hey, sentry mode's off, but then your car's 20%. So then you drive home and then your car is at 9%. And then you're trying to drive to your lake house because your AC doesn't work. Then you have to stop at a charger and sit here and wait for your car to charge so that you can get to the lake house. But then you forget your little boy's blanket. So you have to go back to the house and then go to the lake house. And then we don't have time to go get food. So we're going to have to just order food. I think this is the first time that we've charged this car. Not at our house. Not as quick as like pumping gas, but quicker than the last Tesla. All right, so we're at the lake house. Like I told you guys, walls were ripped apart. So this is the wall that had our uh, break in it. So that got fixed somewhere up in here. And over here somewhere is where some other problem has been. So this room's torn apart. Also the garage is missing a ceiling now. All right. What? Nothing. All right. This didn't get done. So this whole thing all needs ripped out. Gotta go plug in the car, so that way in the morning we can get back home. Walking through all kinds of cobwebs out here. Now it's time to eat some KFC and go to bed. It's an early morning for us. Everyone woke up. Massive, you still look asleep. Preston, I don't know what you look like. Anyway, so we've got to head back to the house and get there before the AC guys do because the AC unit they want to put in is probably going to be in the way of our window. So we might not use those ones, but you have them put in different ones. So Preston, you are crazy, kid. All right, well, girls thought about going swimming, but then they didn't. But then they're just playing with slime. How's the slime train? It's really fluffy. Just like your hair. <laughs> hey, why didn't you go swimming? Because Trin doesn't want to. Oh, why not, Trin? Mm, it's too cold, she says. Because the water's only 81 degrees. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so we went ahead and got the uh, ACs. They got finished up here just a bit ago. Right here, we can see it from a window, which is kind of the reason that I was thinking maybe X and A these ones. They're the slim model, so they're taller. Um, I'll go out and show them. They do look nice, though. So. Now we got Cass taking out the fry ash. <laughs> All right, so I showed you guys the original ones. 
So these ones, I don't know, it's like there's like four big old fans. It's like we're in some like industrial complex here. They're quieter than the other ones were. They did a nice, nice little job here. And then I gotta climb up in the attic so I can see what the furnace looks like. Unless you wanna do that. No. It's probably only like 100 degrees up there. Only. <laughs> All right, well, we'll leave that for another day. But we also are cleaning our garage because later uh, we're having some battery backup things installed. Here. So we gotta clean up the garage, make room for that. But it is already feeling a lot better in the house. No 90 degrees. I mean, we're, we're down to 79. But like I said, they just barely finished. So we just had it turned on like 10 minutes ago. So it's gonna get down soon. Yeah. 